More than anything, I was interested in knowing what a clinical trial was. I knew it was a 50-50 shot of if I would get the real deal or not. And also just wanting to do something, you know, that was for the common good. Carol Ottaviano is a volunteer in the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine trial. She rolled up her sleeve for both shots last September. When the telltale side effects of the vaccine kicked in, she suspected she got the real deal. And then it was confirmed, I guess, in December that um, by the clinical trial that uh, I had received um, the vaccine. Carol admits she felt a new sense of security, pretty confident she was protected from COVID. But in January, a trip to Texas proved to be a reality check. Her father was in his final days. She gathered with family and friends. A few days later, she had a stomach ache and a low-grade fever. And so I thought, you know, I think I better get tested because I'm around my 90-year-old mother, around my sister, my husband. The next day, I got the phone call that you don't want to get that said, you got COVID. So um, I was shocked. You can be vaccinated and still get COVID. Dr. Bill Smith heads up several COVID-19 vaccine trials in Knoxville, including the ongoing Pfizer study. Data from the trial reveals people who've been vaccinated but still develop COVID will likely have minimal to no symptoms. Like Carol, I'm a volunteer in the Pfizer study. Six months after my shots, I recently went in for a blood draw. My sample, along with that of thousands of other trial participants, could offer answers to the many questions that still surround the COVID vaccine. There, we're collecting this, this data over the next couple of years because we, want, we don't know how long it's going to last. We will continue to get information about its effectiveness against variants as these arise. We're going to continue to get any information on any unexpected delayed side effects that um, we don't know about at this point. Carol never expected to be among the 5% who are vaccinated but still get COVID-19. She's just grateful she didn't pass it on to her family. I think that this is a, a warning that, you know, yes, you could still get it, but most likely it'll be a mild case. You won't most likely be in the hospital with it. And um, hopefully the people around you will be less likely to get it. So there's always a bright side to every story. And I think that's um, what I would say about this one. Now there is another moral of the story. For now, we need to continue to wear masks and social distance and all those other measures. On the vaccine front, Dr. Smith says more will likely be approved in the very near future. And just a quick side note, as you saw, I am also in the Pfizer vaccine trial. I found out in January that I did indeed get the vaccine and not the placebo. An update for you. Well, you can follow my journey through the clinical trial process right now at WBIR.com. And if you would like to volunteer for a COVID vaccine trial, call this number. It's 865-305-DRUG.